Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we've got more than usual to cover. We've got seismicity, weather, a triple dose of eye candy, a couple important announcements at the end. But we are starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star. We find continued solar flaring, plasma filament eruptive activity, next coronal hole, big, dark, turning in from the left. There isn't anything significant on its way to Earth here, and by tonight, the northern sunspot group will be departing. There is still delta-class magnetism in the trailing cores, but so far its flaring has been moderate at worst. The plasma filament that erupted on the southern departing quadrant will not hit Earth, but boy does it show us why we have to monitor those filaments. Several more on the sun right now, including a couple directly facing the Earth. Seismic note up next, Santorini continues rumbling. The swarm in Greece has continued and climbed in magnitude, really hoping that one settles down at the supervolcano. Sticking with the crust, it appears that Yellowstone is moving north, slightly northeast. A new study shows that the magma chambers, which are nowhere near filled, are slowly moving towards central Montana. Reminder that they won't fill up until the pressure cap is tightened in the area. There's too much geyser, seismic, and geothermal released to build up for a big blast at this time. Weather up next, Japan doing its impression of the United States from last month. Records obliterated on the island there. And sticking with the weather, folks, it was about a week ago we said to watch this tropical node near Australia, pumping out low cells. One in particular, Talia, heading west into the Indian Ocean, will become a very major storm. We don't yet know where landfall will be, but we've got eyes open. We need them. Triple dose of eye candy up next, starting with a combination of Hubble and James Webb. Incredible view. Side-on shot of a stellar core. The jet, the Taurus, the central disk. Top 10 prettiest shots the new satellite has taken, if you ask me. Up next, we've got astrometric wobbles and stars revealing planetary companions. Interestingly, while this method is not new, it is new to find them orbiting very low-mass stars in this way. It's a first here as a brown dwarf and a gas giant were found around many stars. Last article today is actually an image release from Hubble, a galaxy with nine rings. Might be the most tightly wound galaxy they've ever found. Absolutely stunning, especially with the satellite galaxies and background environment. Now, couple administrative notes. First, thanks to everyone who pre-ordered the shirts, the last SO gear. It was a pre-order and they're being made now. We expect them to ship out near Valentine's Day and you will get an email update with tracking. Now second, the exciting part. Folks, this is me interacting with what I'm calling the Observer Bot. Adrian and I have trained a GPT model on just Observer Science. The books, the e-magazine articles, key papers. Last night, I tested it on solar forcing of rain, the cycle of magnetic pole shifts, the climatological and biological impact of the pole shifts, rapid solar forcing of weather through the global electric circuit, and information on the solar micronova. 95% on its first test. I'll post these on X, Twitter, on my page today for you to see. Space Weather News at Sun Weatherman. Folks, this observer bot will be tasked with answering your questions about the sun, space weather, solar forcing of weather and earthquakes and human health, and of course, anything about the Earth disaster cycle, the micronova, and the magnetic pole shift. It will be available to you. Observer bot, it's coming. Just one of the many lined up from the new SOAI group. We greatly appreciate your support. Be sure to check the events at ObserverRanch.com. Please come out and see us. Really want to shake some hands this year, and it starts at ObserverRanch.com. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.